today, let's talk about Conebeam CT and what tests you should run on the system and how do you do those tests. So this is something that not all physicists are familiar with. Different clinics do different cone beam CT tests. And unfortunately, there are some that probably don't do any QA on them, but it is necessary and mandatory that you test these. So first of all, we have daily, monthly, and annual tests that need to be run on the cone beam CT for our linear accelerators. So what tests should you do? You should be able to verbally discuss these in an open forum easily and in detail, especially if you were asked on the oral exam. So know these well, and ideally you do them and can talk about real on-hands uh, experience from your clinic. So first thing, of course, detection. If something bumps that detector, that cone beam CT, it needs to throw a fault and stop its motion. You then have your HU values, whether you use offline adaptive radiation therapy or not, you need to verify HU values are correct. There's also a CAT fan that hopefully you are familiar with. Without a doubt, you need to do research if you don't know this, but that will allow you to verify the resolution. So essentially the line pair per millimeters will also help you check uniformity. And this also is how you would check HU values as well, or at least one of the methods, probably the most common. You also want localization and geometric distortion. So this can happen on cone beam CTs. You have a baseline, you know what value should be. And so if you see that deviate through time, this is a a way to know you need to contact your service representative and have your system worked on. And then the big one, which could be a question all in itself, I have a video on this that you can check after this, but CTDI, this needs to be done once per year. And for one scan, what is the dose you are delivering? This needs to stay, stay constant throughout the life of the machine. And then finally, we also want to check our low contrast resolution. So how do we test these things? So the good news is a lot of these are wrapped into the cat fan. So for the detection, you just go and you gently bump the cone beam CT monitor, the portal dosimeter, it is, and the KVs. So not, you know, we have MV cone beam CTs and our KV cone beam CTs. So either way, bump both of those, ensure a fall is thrown off. This cat fan is really going to help you on your monthly test and your annual test. Again, that does HU values and all of these that I've mentioned right here. It can also utilize and help with the geometric distortion. CTDI, you're going to have to have your own system, a pencil ion chamber, and specific phantoms to test for thorax and body. But that, again, is a whole other question. And just know how to do that. And ideally, have done it yourself. And low contrast resolution, you can also use cat fan. But they make the Las Vegas phantoms. And there's a bunch of phantoms out there. Standard imaging has a really good phantom that has a lot of these roped in. And then there are dose analysis tools like Dose Lab or PIPS Pro that once you take a cone beam of your phantom, you are able to import that image and run the tests on it. So... That is ultimately what you want to do and how you would run the cone beam CT. Be sure you do this in your clinic and you're familiar with it and be able to go in detail. So if you have any other questions about these, please let me know. Happy studying and best of luck.